How's it everybody? Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan battle video. In today's video, we have one of the most controversial EZAs to date. That is the AGL Bardock. A lot of people felt like this guy just wasn't enough for his EZA. So we're here finally to take a look for ourselves and make that uh, conclusion on our own. We got ours at Max Link's rainbow status. And I'm kind of curious to see exactly where he's at. Because when he released, he was one of the few I didn't have on JP. So I'm curious to see where he's at. So let's take a look at his passive here. He's got key two attack defense 150%. He has an additional 50% attack uh, when attacking. He's got an additional attack 20% up to 100 and reduces damage received by 10% up to 50 per low class warrior category ally attacking uh, on the team he has an additional 50 percent attack and effective against all types when there's a wicked bloodline enemy he also has an additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack when there's another low class warrior ally attacking in the same turn now the neat thing about him is he does greatly raise defense much like tekel doing gohan but his built-in additionals are a little more restricted so we get We'll, we'll have one at 50%, and then, of course, we'll have our additional uh, hidden potential. So we'll see if that makes any difference here. And we're going to go ahead and hop into the Wicked Bloodline red zone for the Metal Cooler. And thank goodness we actually do have him turn one. But unfortunately, no good Link Partners. All right, where is that super? All right, oh, it's right in front. Perfect. So I'm actually going to drop him in front because I'm pretty sure he can take this. Um, but we're at 180k, and the only reason we're at that is because we have, like, no links active. So let's just take this. Um, we'll... There we go, six. That's what I needed. And then let's send off the Bardock here. So 180k, that's not a lot. Obviously, it would be better if we had a better um, partner. All right, double digits there, nice. Of course, you know, he doesn't hit that hard. So eight million here. Really sucks not having that low class warrior ally attacking next to him. I mean, there we go. We get it. All right, can we park the hidden potential here? There we go. Okay, so we got two supers this turn, nice. So if we can average about two supers a turn with greatly raising defense, that's actually really good. So nice. And of course there goes our Toa. Toa. Uh, he was supposed, or Torah rather, he was supposed to be our, our, um, he was supposed to be our partner for the Bardock, so, you know, we're just, we're just gonna have to take this as is, and actually I really need, okay, that's good. Alright, we really need to make sure that he doesn't launch the hat AoE, because that could hurt if Torah doesn't dodge. There we go. Double super will take that. These guys will get a buff for having that 18 key go off first. That's the main reason I put them there. Alright, solid. But just worried about them taking an AoE first. Alright. And I just remembered we have Bardock stuff up, so actually we wouldn't have taken that at all. Alright, so we got four links, so it's going to be a little bit better this turn, but let's take a look at our defense now. So, 500k, just under. Um, we don't have... We, are we getting support from him? Um... Uh, we're getting 30% defense from him, so, I mean, that's not terrible. Alright, God Goku is just not going to attack at all, but I, I don't actually care if he does or not. <laughs> He'll be fine, as long as we can keep up his dodges. But 10 million now that we've actually got some decent support, some decent links. It'll be a little bit better next turn when we get the Torah. There we go, we get an additional super, so two supers this turn. There we go. Alright, and of course, we're not going to do the stupid thing. We're going to put him in front, because I know he will tank that super, whereas uh, these guys may not necessarily. Alright, 
Nice. Uh, and they, they they should tank that uh, super pretty well after a double super. Yeah, we're taking double digits on the normals with these guys, so I shouldn't be too worried. Yep, okay, we're good. We just gotta hope that unlinked Bardock there in the third slot can, like, not die to a normal. I feel like he's fine. Like, I, I feel like I'm over worrying a bit there. We did get the Rainbow Orb, so he's going to have a lot of his extra defense. We just don't have any links. That's the only issue. Oh, yeah. Solid. Okay. Mm. Alright, so 700k. And look, we're doing a lot better on links. Uh, who's coming on? The other Bardock is coming on. Alright, and... How's our defense here? Uh, barely any difference. Okay. Alright, we'll just keep this then. I, I need to make sure he super is right. I mean, he is the main focus here, so we gotta let him do his thing. Alright, but we are getting support from uh, Tora this turn, so... Alright, there we go. 12 million. Very nice. Yeah, that attack support from Tor. There we go. That attack support from Tor. Uh, uh, attack support from Tora. Why is that so difficult to say? Is actually really good. Very nice. So, next turn. Uh, well, it depends on whether or not we actually get through this phase or not. Um, we may. There we go. Yeah, let's do that. All right, he's fully built up. So let's just do this. He should he our rainbow one should tank that super. It is AGL. And he he is pretty much fully built up. It was the first attack God Goku's gotten the whole fight. Nice. Is it enough? Oh yeah, totally. Sweet. Nice. And we get the additional super. Okay, so, you know, I feel like we'll be pretty comfortable transforming him uh, next turn. And what is this? This is turn six. So this is his... More or less his... Turn 7, actually, right? So this is what? Fourth appearance? Third appearance, right? He was turn 1. So this is his third appearance. So what are we looking at? All right. 800k. Um, okay. But, of course, we're not linked with anybody here. So let's go ahead. Let's just transform him because I do want to get some turns in against the final form. All right. So over a million defense now. So let's take a look at his transform state. So... In his transform state, he now has key 3, attack and defense 180%. He has effective against all types. He reduces damage received by 18%. He launches an additional attack that has a 70% chance of becoming a super attack. He has an additional 100% when attacking. He has a medium chance of performing a critical hit. Uh, he has a medium chance of evading enemies attack. He has an additional key 3 and chance of performing a critical hit and chance of evading enemies attack 18% and reduces damage received by 18% for 5 turns from his uh, entry turn. He launches an additional super attack uh and all effects uh, all attacks are critical hit when facing a wave bloodline so he's actually going to be kind of nuts here um uh, so really this is you you want to use him in fights where you're fighting freezes right so he's really good for the frieza um the golden frieza red zone in the new movie bosses stages which we'll get towards the end of the month and he's also really good for the legendary frieza event obviously right but i mean with stacking right this is Turn seven, right? If you think about some of the longer fights that you're going to be doing, um, like the ninth anniversary events, or like the um, the Buhan, for example, turn seven is 
pretty normal occurrence in that fight. Now, granted, you're probably not going to be running full low class warrior, so I mean, he may not. He'll at least be getting those extra that that one turn. You might have like one other low class warrior on the team, um, but it won't be anything too crazy. But you can see he can easily get up to a million defense with about what is that 18%. So just under 30 damage uh, percent damage reduction so that's not too terrible 14 million actually that's pretty good a granite now remember we are guaranteed critical hits here and we have a guaranteed additional super there we go 15 million now we aren't stacking anymore right uh with with bardock now we uh, so no more are we stacking uh attack and defense or defense rather we were only stacking defense last time and he can do this from turn four, right? So he's actually now, uh, where is he, right? So he's greatly raising attack and defense for the turn now. All right, so we kind of just need to make sure we can survive here. So let's do this number. All right, we're gonna have to grab that. It does mean ha we have to forego some I don't know how his defense is, but I feel like it would probably be better <laughs> with Tora than... Okay, God Goku, what are you doing, man? God Goku, God Goku, God Goku, thank you. <laughs> okay, you have me worried sometimes, man. Alright, so we pretty sure Tora can tank the normal since he's type advantage, so really we're just worried about that Bardock there. Oh yeah, he's solid. I'm actually surprised to see Tech Bardock hitting 8 million here. <laughs> Be nice if we would get an additional super though. All right, here we go. So we got some good support here. We got some good linkage. We got some good support. So a lot better on the defense now. So let's grab this. We're gonna keep him slot one again. I just want to see if we can get that dodge out. Not a big deal if we don't, because um, I'm pretty sure with a million defense we will tank here. So let's see what we do. Ooh, and we're getting the Dokkan attack. There we go. Look at that. We are proccing those dodges. Double digits on the that. Time to get serious. Boom. All right. So I feel like the legendary Frieza event would probably be a little bit better showcase for him because it's actually harder than this fight. Um, but, you know, the, the Shadow Dragons doesn't do him justice, and this, because it doesn't, nice, there we go, it doesn't show him with, it, it doesn't show him with the Frieza buff, right? So we would want that Golden Frieza stage, which JP did have when he released that uh, Movie Boss's Red Zone Golden Frieza. That's actually a really good place for him because it's kind of a medium. Uh, it's it's kind of a medium fight. It's not too long, but it is a good place where we can easily t transform him turn four, and we can really see what he's like and see that right while he does stack in base form. Depending on the fight, it's not all that necessary to drag out his stacking. Now, another good place to show him off, obviously, is the memorial battle events on JP, uh, the Gogeta and the Broly ones, right? Because they're they're longer without any special gimmicks, right? I think at Buhan we're gonna see a lot better defensive and offensive numbers out of him. Be well, maybe not offensive, but defensive numbers out of him because we can stack a little bit longer uh, without too much fear. Um, 
the the only issue is is of course there are those gimmicks like slot locking and sealing that could slow down our progress which is the main reason i don't want to start doing buhan for showcases for long event uh guys because you know there's, there's just too much that can go wrong i'll still do the buhan event with him just to kind of see where he's at with that um but for now you know i think i think this kind of gives us a good idea of what to kind of expect right away out of him right stacking for about six you know three to four appearances you're looking around seven to eight hundred k you can keep going if you want to get him above that million but once transformed at that point turn you know seven uh turn six to seven you're looking at about uh you're you're looking over a million once transform and then of course you've got your dodges and your critical hits that are in there and your effectives against all types so honestly i I can't say I'm too disappointed. I never, never expected much out of this guy to begin with because, you know, he wasn't he wasn't that good in base, right? It's not like it was like we lost attack ultimate Gohan here, right? If this was AGL Bardock, he wasn't that good to begin with. I didn't imagine him to be too much better on EZA, but I will say he's definitely looking a lot better than people made him sound to me uh, over on JP, right? I didn't expect to see him hitting 14 million attacks three times in a row right like that's actually pretty darn good now this is a low class warrior team so we'll kind of have to see how he does off of low class warriors that's that's my only beef with this easy is that restriction of low class warriors i think if we didn't have that restriction i would have a much brighter opinion of him but i'm not fully down on him not yet i gotta see how he does in the rest of his grand tour so guys that is it for the video if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let us know what are your initial thoughts on agl bardock's easy a is he good enough is he not good enough where do you stand on this let us know in the comments down below otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha